Hi, my friends. So it's 8.30 Wednesday morning here in Melbourne. And um, I've been awake for an hour or so. I just realized she's put up her other video. So now I can do the two um, reactions for you. First of all, what the fuck are those earmuffs? They look ridiculous. Um, she's such a child. But anyway, okay, it is what it is. Uh, let's get into it. Now, I have already seen this one briefly on um, Tara's page, Country Shade, because I needed a fix from, from Country Shade Tree. So I have to admit, I have watched it already. But we'll watch it again and let me react to it. But these earmuffs are just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Okay, hang on. Good morning, vlog fam. It is a sunny, beautiful day. Freezing, but sunny and gorgeous. Bruni and I are taking a walk, letting him sniff. Are they fa they're fake Chanel earmuffs or are they real at once? I'd be embarrassed to wear them. Like, I mean, I'm sure they're not real, but they just look fucking ridiculous. I don't care what label you've got on them. In his favorite spots. So I figured I would start the vlog on our walk. Oh, look at the sun. The sun. Look at the size of your face. Why have you got this angle? It is such a bad angle. Like, do it from above at least so we can see your whole... But that's that's the thing. She doesn't want us to see your whole body. Sun! Oh my gosh. It's really, really freezing, but like, I don't even care. I was like, I'm walking outside. <laughs> I want to enjoy every droplet. I swear to God, if I hear this bitch complain when it's summer that it's too hot, Oh, she's going to cop it from me because all she's done is whinging and bitching this whole winter and she's supposedly meant to love winter in the snow and she's hot enough person without it being summer so I don't understand why she loves summer so much I mean I do but I love summer I never complain about it she complains about it of blue sky um but anyway we are going to start the vlog off <laughs> we're gonna go run some errands I need to go to the grocery store uh, I want to go to Party City and get some Super Bowl stuff. I don't want to be looking up your fucking nose through this whole vlog. For a little gathering we're having on Sunday. I also got Just stuff to do the DIY uh, Super Bowl tailor shirt. So hopefully that comes in today from Amazon. But yeah, let's hang out today. Okay, you guys, I am back from my... Guys, I'm sorry if you can hear my timing grumbling. All I've had is water, and it's just a grumbling. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you can hear it on there. I walk. It's very windy, and my eyes were watering. But I think, I think the makeup is still well enough intact. But I want to show you guys that I swapped out in this little alcove here. Um, we had a piece of art here. But I don't mind that frame there, but I hate this. I hate this tree thing. Oh, I'll leave whatever it fucking is. It just looks like it's dead. Just put something with a bit of, I don't know, you don't even need that there. Just get rid of it and just appreciate the mirror for how nice it is. But it just never fully felt right. So swapped it out for this mirror. It's from Amazon, of course. I'll link it. I was very proud of myself. I hung it myself because I didn't want to wait. <laughs> it has two nail holes on each side, so I... Of course she didn't want to wait, so she put it up herself. Did it the right way. I measured it and all. Um, but I think it looks so cute. Um, Gee, guys, I don't know how I said I like that initially. It just reminds me of... She needs to have like a picture frame here of someone who's passed away. And that'll be perfect. I don't like that anymore. It looked nice somehow the other day, but not anymore. I don't like it. This is still a work in progress. <laughs> but anyway... You don't have to laugh. It's nothing to be laughed about. So this is still a work in progress. I'm still not sure what I'm doing here. But you don't have to laugh every five seconds. Wait, the mirror is so cute and like we don't um the mirror is not my taste but i suppose it suits all her gold stuff and it it suits that gold frame there doesn't it i don't have any mirrors down here now really that fucking i think it's a eucalyptus tree and that's an australian thing and i hate eucalyptus trees i think they're bloody <laughs> well i hate the leaves of them anyway not the actual tree since we moved it from the living room so i feel like this is a great spot to like kind of check yourself before you go out or take a little selfie so yeah it's so cute why the fuck would you need a mirror to take a selfie 
um, you just turn your camera around and you take a selfie no matter where you are. You don't need a mirror for that. And it was like next day delivery and a really good price and they have different sizes too. All right, you guys, if you can see, we are at, you can't really see it. We're at How about you take us outside the fucking car and show us where you are instead of showing us through a car window? Party City! And it's taking me back to last year when we came here. I just hit my head with my hair clip. Um, oh, how hilarious. I just hit my hair with my hair clip. Dear Jesus, could you get any more boring? Oh my gosh, you know what I saw? Something about how like you shouldn't wear hair clip when you drive because like if you get in an accident, it can like hurt you deeply. <laughs> oh my God, is she fucking kidding? The things that hold this shit together, this plastic together, is a tiny little piece of metal. And I don't think that's going to go into your head. It will probably snap and break before it does that. So I need to remember to like take it out. Anyway, I was just thinking about last... Oh, please. Please. you got a lot more worries about that than just that, love. Here, ...when we came here to get the Super Bowl uh, stuff. And I did... Those earrings, the way they're pulling on her earlobe. Horrible save any of it so we'll see what they have maybe they've got some fun little stuff of course she didn't save anything these let's go check it out I'll and she does it on purpose because she wants new stuff every year so that's why she doesn't save it she's just a bullshit artist so i did go on instagram live and get ready today and i did like really simple like i actually don't have foundation on which is a <laughs> this is her simple no makeup makeup look oh she puts five layers of um well, she puts that sunscreen stuff on first and then she puts five layers of um, powder on top and then blush and she calls it um, no makeup. Yep. We, we can't tell because you're not very bronzed up here, are you? Ridiculous. Wild. My skin has... And that was that one where she was really nasty to everyone, I think. It's when she, where she got ready online. Been really agreeing with... On her live feed. Oh, I got creases in my in my eyes of course that's that hooded eye life um but i did um just put on that i hate her lips i'm sorry guys i know you must be thinking gee she picks on everything especially if there's some of her followers on here i, I just can't like her lip is not even a it just looks like she's always eating something greasy and it's unless she just doesn't take off the lip liner properly i don't know that line is meant to be a fucking even line. I don't know what's going down here. What's wrong with that? I just tinted, hate the lips. I hate like them. adaptive sunscreen from Color Science, and I concealed a couple pimples, and then just did like some cream products, a little bit of powder. Um, but it was fun getting ready with you guys. So if you were there, shout out to you. All right, let's go. All right, do you think we should get a cart? That is the question. Party City, the most overpriced place, but they have the coolest stuff for parties. I did Why look on Amazon though. Fuck, are you singing that? Is she for real? Is she literally for real? Overpriced place, but they have the coolest stuff. All right, let's go. All right, do you think we should get a cart? That is the question. Party City, the most overpriced place, but they have the coolest stuff for parties. Well, you're I used guess. to paying overpriced for stuff, so what's the big deal? All of a sudden, you care how much you spend when it comes to this stuff? Everything else you spend, you don't care about, so I don't understand why this is such a big deal for her, and it's not like she doesn't have the money to spend it there. If you didn't have the money to spend it there, I'd understand, but she does. She spends it on frivolous things, so don't fucking complain. I did look on Amazon though, and everything was so jacked up for the Super Bowl. Like, it's probably cheaper here. I don't get why she has to sing everything. So fucking annoying. You guys know I genuinely just like live for a theme. <gasps> look at We do know you live for a theme. You live for a theme, you live for a season, you live for um, anything coming up because you have no life so we know you live for a theme yes we do at the football oh my god that's so cute this is what your life revolves around this is great for like some chips or something okay i'm glad i came early because they only have this section and there's not that much that fucking hand that hand we can see we don't need your hand there we can see it she's so obsessed you know i noticed when she started this hand thing is when um she got her ring on her finger 
that's when she started this hand thing just in case no one else is married and no one else has an engagement ring and she wants to show hers off that's when she started this fucking hand thing so <laughs> we're gonna do what we can should we just like buy a football pinata <laughs> oh. oh my god well, I had this last year. I don't think I saved this. I wish I had, but I did. I remember having that last year. Okay, and then we've got like... I remember that she bought that last year and it was a nice banner. But I remember when she took it off, it was too hard for her to put it back together as she took it off. It had strings and stuff on it, so she probably just chucked it out. Because she wanted new stuff. Plates and stuff. This would be good. All right, so I'm going to get one of the little footballs. And then we'll do those. Actually, I'm going to get the smaller. So 36. So there's 18 of these. God knows how many people are coming over. She doesn't say. I don't even know whether we'll see them. And she's getting a little... So she's gotten a smaller thing out because the other one had 36 in them. And she doesn't need that many. Smaller napkins. I kind of like these footballs, you know. Instead of getting something like this, just putting footballs <laughs> all around i am fighting the urge to get a football pinion what the fuck that is so ugly that is so ugly why is there that there Nada. what is that oh my god that is so ugly oh okay it stands that's why it's there and no one's bought it <laughs> like that okay what is this is this just decorative I don't think it holds. Decorations for table. Can you read? Decorations for table. Fuck, man. It's food. I mean, I could put food around it, I guess. It's kind of cool. Oh, they do have this stuff here too, but these are the only two things. I'm kind of surprised. I can't decide if I should just go with the football theme or like the actual Super Bowl theme. <laughs> life's decisions guys life's worrying decisions first world problems and she makes that like it's such a huge problem all oh, those fucking nails are so ugly <laughs> um we've got pop-up trash bins and then yeah they don't really have that much you know which is kind of surprising i, I don't understand why she didn't go to the dollar store surely they would have had some stuff I feel like they had more last year. Okay, so I did grab this little table decoration and then this pack of bowls for like chips or whatever. I think that should, I think that should probably suffice. I am gonna do like some cute themed snacks and stuff too. Of course you are. Honestly, this will probably be like for- Wow, look at all that St. Patrick's Day stuff. That is so much. $30. $38. <laughs> I'm getting too good at guessing the prices at Party City, y'all. All right, you guys. Next. $38 is a drop in the ocean for you, so don't complain. Stop. We're going to go grab some groceries. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm so not in the fucking mood for her. I've had such a break off her, so it feels so good to have that break. Not seeing her annoying face, but. You guys, look where I am. I'm editing in my office. Actually, put your arm down. We don't need your fucking arm up. And why is that? That's really pissing me off. Turn it around and push it in if you're gonna video. She has no fucking clue. She has no fucking idea. Turn your chair around and push it in properly if you're videoing. Ever since um, we kind of finished rearranging a little bit and putting the other desk here by the window, I have been doing a lot of work here and it's so, so great to just have a separate space. Like I said, I normally am just editing like downstairs at the kitchen island or the table or- Fix your chair behind you, it's driving me insane. Push it in. Can you film like that? Even on the couch. So it feels really good to like come in here and edit. Um, but yeah, I really like this space. I did also just open this in the mail. I guess right before I got a new, a new chain. This is the Avery chain. Oh 
God, I keep sending her stuff. No wonder she's shilling it all the time. In, in the 22 inch, it's really pretty. It's got like tiny little beads. Oh, that is so ugly. That looks like the chain in my bedroom where I'm lifting up my blind from. It's a smaller version. There's nothing nice about it. And it's like got a nice little glimmer to it. So this has been like my go-to necklace lately from Miranda Fry. With this we know because you keep fucking pulling at it. Little charm here. I feel like I go through phases with what I wear as like my daily necklace, but this is the one I've been wearing. So maybe I'll make this my daily. What is going on with her makeup? So fucking heavy around here. And she has a filter on. No, it's got like such a pretty little... See when like the light hits it, it's going really pretty. No, no, I'm not saying when the light hits it, it has a pretty thing. It's just fucking tiny little balls on a chain. It's... What else can you say about it? Glimmer. Um, but anyway, I am editing. I already put the groceries away. And I'm not going to bother to show you guys what I got at Party City because I already showed you everything I got in this store. But yeah, on Sunday, I will... I'll show you guys like the snacks and stuff. Maybe I'll do it in a reel. Maybe I'll do it in the vlog. Maybe I'll do it in both. Who knows? But like I said, I have some snacks and stuff planned for that. Of course you do. That's why you like a function. It's all about the snacks. Um, and I also am still waiting for the printout iron-on stuff to come in. So I ended up just ordering it from Amazon. Oh, for the love of God. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I got a sweatshirt, just like a plain crew neck from Hanes for literally, I think, like $14. And I'm so mad. I could have sworn I kept the iron-on paper from last time. I cannot find it anywhere. It's because you have so much shit in your house accumulated. That's why you can't find anything anyway. So I had to order more of those, but they did have a pack with only six, which was great. Because I don't want like a ton of them, but I'm going to make sure I save them and put them somewhere. I, I still can't believe she's filming with this chair pushed out like that. It's just, it's killing me watching it. And find them easily next time. Because like this is the move. Like the money you will spend. Sorry, my arm hurts. The money you'll spend on like Etsy or something, which is great. I'm still going to do that often. But like if you want to do it yourself, I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> so... Um, I think it was like $10 for the iron-on papers, you know, so you're spending like 25 bucks and then we'll have other iron-on stuff, you know, for future things versus spending like 50 bucks. Um, so I don't know, I'm excited. It's supposed to get delivered today. So I want to put it in this vlog because I think this vlog is actually going to go up on Super Bowl Sunday. I think, yeah, I think that's it. So, um, let me know if you guys are watching who you're rooting for etc all right you guys it is the end of the day now it's eight o'clock this just came in now so i'm going to do this tomorrow but we got six of these and one sweatshirt this is the eco smart so yeah yeah we'll do this tomorrow because it feels like a journey <laughs> And your girl is tired. I got this tumbler and PR today from Kinship. It's so pretty. It's like this real. It feels like a journey. It feels like a journey. She's had such an exhausting day that doing an iron on transfer feels like a journey, guys. This bitch doesn't know what work is is about. Another fucking tumbler. Here we go. Really pale blue. I just washed it. And like, guys, real talk. I'm kind of off the Stanley train. Um, I've been using my simple model. Stanley train. She was shoving that up people's throats for months and months and months. Now she's off it and now she's on a different one. Now this one she got through PR. So of course she's going to have to say she likes it. Turn one. Um, and this one's really cool because without the straw, it has zero leak, which is awesome. And you can still like turn it on its side a bit without it leaking, which is... What the fuck she done with all the other Stanley ones that she had? Is great um i'm just over the stanley i don't know like i do like the stanley but <laughs> fuck off with your hand fuck off with your hand we don't need to see your hand in every fucking clip of your video there are more tumblers to love i've never heard of this brand either take ya but yeah it's nice really good quality so that's my tumbler talk of the day tomorrow should we show them how i brush you <laughs> he kind of likes to be brushed but he no, i can't Sorry guys, I can't watch her fakeness with Bruno. 
I'm just not going to sit there and watch that. Don't fucking make out you look after him and that you like him. Wow. I just okay, you guys. So we are up in my office, obviously, and I thought we could get ready for the day. How cute is this? I forgot I had this. It's from Skims. It feels like you're just wearing a big cozy. It's not cute. It's fucking ugly. And I can't believe Skims would actually make something like that. And that would be fairly expensive coming from them. It's like just a cheapy top. There's nothing wrong with cheap. But it doesn't look like Skims. And it's just ugly. I hate the pattern on it. Cozy blanket. So my hair is air dried. I washed it Yes. Why does her hair look like it's already got regrowth in it? Is it just me guys? Or her hair looks like it has fucking regrowth in it? I know they blended it, but even if you blended it and, um, sorry, not blended it, they teased it. But even if you were to tease this section here, it should last way more than hers. So that just looks like she's got regrowth under there already. It's been a week. Yesterday, so I figured we could style it and then it will be styled. For the only reason I can think of is that they've, she hasn't told them where she parts it maybe and they've done it you know another way and then sometimes a client goes and parts it another way I always ask my clients where do you always part your hair if they say they change sides which is like this cow here I do part in the middle that way it's even on both sides if they say they have it on one side and they never move it I'll do it on that side but mostly I like doing a part in the middle and the even the foils are even on both sides for the weekend we have plans with some friends oh. Is this the one where she um, puts the rollers in? That's right. Friends this weekend. So stay tuned for a little Super Bowl party prep vlog. That'll be fun. So since my hair is dry, I have this little curler brush from Amika. Fucking clean it. Sorry, it's got hair on it. That happens. But I yeah, love it. It happens, but it also happens that you can't clean it. You're fucking lazy this thing I will link it but I figured I would go ahead and do some rollers and then they can set while I am doing my makeup especially since now I actually have my little clippies because I just I feel like people are able to do just finger rolling them up and pinning them but I think using rollers is going to be better for me to of course it's going to be better for you finger rolling them up doesn't work as well because you need to heat on them needs to be heated is she gonna heat these rollers before she puts them on i know i watched tara's one but i can't remember i think i, I fast forwarded to this part actually i don't know i just have a hard time rolling them with my finger but i have big small and medium velcro i think does she realize she can even use her dyson wrap for this she can dyson wrap her hair in a circle there and just pin it Dyson wrap it and then put it around these rollers. You need heat. These are also from Amazon. So essentially, I'm just gonna like take sections and kind of go through it. Actually, I'm gonna do smaller, smaller section and just kind of like brush through it a couple times. Oh my God, that is going to take, you know how long that's gonna take her for no fucking reason at all. Dyson, two seconds. You heat it up a lot quicker than that brush and put your rollers in and they'll be fine. Just to kind of like straighten it and then we'll do the little curl. We'll hold it, let it do its thing, then roll it back up and clip it into place. I think my hair is kind of at like a nice length now where the volume works better. You guys, yeah. I'm so sad. I finished 90 Day Fiance UK, no, um, the second that. season. I finished it together. So then I started doing a little deep dive. And like she didn't want to talk about it, but oh, following her, I'm sticking along for the journey. I'm not take insane. my time with it. Oh, something else I never talked about. <laughs> um, we watched Saltburn. I don't care. And the curlers are in. All right, they're in. God. I had this one going forward, but it was just <laughs> in my face. <laughs> so, as Tara would say, Auntie Pam. Oh my God, what a horrible look. I don't think that jumper is doing her any favors. We call it jumpers here. We call that a jumper, not a sweater. I don't think it's doing her any favors at all. We put it back. Let's do a little spritzeroo. I have a really good feeling about them today. I so don't. <laughs> I really don't. Your hair is short enough as it is. All this is going to do is going to make her head look wider and make her look 10 years older. 
I did an Instagram live the other day where I got ready with a very natural looking makeup since I'm not doing anything major today let's just do very simple makeup so I just used the color science this is that um flex I can't guys you guys have seen her do this 50 million times I'm not going to watch her do her fucking makeup her no makeup 500 makeup layer look Look how pancaked that is on her face. How much powder she has put on her face. And she, she thinks she has nothing on. Something, and then we'll just spritz. That's gonna give us a nice glow. For brows, we're doing super simple, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow. Lip Reviver Oil. I'm telling you, I have not even touched oh. my Dior one since I got this. It's so good. This is in the color Pink Quartz. That combo prettiest the prettiest okay don't judge me but i am gonna take <laughs> i'm gonna take a tiny bit of blush on top of that she is unfucking believable she is unbelievable with the amount of powder she puts on her face i just feel like i need it and it's gonna take away a little bit of that extra shine this is the you just fucking sprayed it for some shine and now you're taking it off the fuck is wrong with you yo um berry scoop okay yeah now she's shoving this down our throat as if she doesn't have enough pancake makeup on she's now gonna put this fucking blush on that took it there gonna throw this on mascara i like to focus and you know what i think i'm gonna leave my rollers in for as long as i can stand it which will probably be like an hour because <laughs> this they are probably already um cooled down anyway because that brush won't get that hot and you, you, I can already tell just from the look of them that they've already cooled down. So whether she takes them out now or later, it's not going to make much difference. Makeup literally took like 10 minutes. So I'm going to figure out, I got to go on Etsy and figure out what design I want to buy and print out for our sweatshirt. Let's go, let's do this. And then I'm going to go look and see what choices there are. And we'll, maybe I'll do like a poll on Instagram or something. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm back. You know, I can't believe this is the life of someone this age. She wants to do a poll on Instagram about which picture she puts on her t-shirt about the fucking Super Bowl. And it's all got to do with her and Taylor Swift. I can't believe she is almost 40 years old. Someone with a baby brain like this, it's just ridiculous that this content is just hideous. It's just getting worse and worse. My makeup is done. Um, I got a new highlighter I wanted to put on with you guys. It's also from Clio. Of course it is because you're trying to make the money. Um, I really love this brand. It's called Gold Sheer, but like I just opened it and like, oh, look at that. Oh my God. I does, just cannot it resist. Nice. It does look nice. Let's see how it works. Bring it on. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. That's so. Oh, it's okay. It's nothing spectacular. Looks shinier in the, in the packaging than it does on her face. I've never used anything like Rare Beauty. The Rare Beauty highlighter is just fucking amazing. Oh, pretty. It's almost like very natural. It's not like chunky or glittery. Wow. Ooh. That's not going to be enough for her. She's going to want more. Ooh. That is, that is stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. Love it. I keep coming back to this one. Go Taylor's boyfriend. Oh my god. Does she even know his name's Travis Kelsey? So, two bucks. I'm Stop tapping with your fucking finger. We can see. You know, Alexandra, most of us have do have acrylic nails as well. You're not the only fucking one that's got long nails. Get on the printer paper. Stop tapping the fucking thing. Well, you guys, this is embarrassing. The kind of paper that we got is... She is such a shit show, this girl is for inkjet printers and we have a laser printer which i find confusing because last time i did not buy special paper for a laser printer and i looked on michael's and the ones i bought last time i'm pretty sure worked just fine in our laser printer thankfully the printer is fine we did a bunch of printing after and got it too look normal again um because i was really scared i like broke the printer oh my god yaman would have killed her um i didn't really think 
about inkjet versus laser. So if you're gonna do this, be mindful of the kind of printer you have. I'm so glad the printer's okay. But I was looking on Michael's and they don't have any in stock in the store for laser printers. And I'm not gonna risk getting another one that is not made for laser printers. Thankfully there are some on Amazon. So I know, I really do be struggling. <laughs> so I ordered the struggles of life guys. The struggles of everyday life. You know how many people would kill to have this struggle for this to be a problem for them? <laughs> I ordered the ones for the laser printer. Oh my gosh, she is so annoying. What the fuck is going on with this line here too? Jeez, she's really gotten bad with her makeup. She used to be quite good. What how can you not forget to how can you forget to blend that into your neck? I know it's sort of non existent, but you still gotta blend it into the skin that you have there and they're gonna come in tomorrow <laughs> but hey at least they're coming the day before the super bowl i really guys i can't with myself i really because you're a fucking idiot that's why you can't with yourself we can't with you either but we can't look away because you're like a um an accident waiting to happen and there's that fucking ravioli thing on the wall i and i hate those flowers i hate them with a the passion she decorates her house like she's a fucking 90 year old with those flowers it just can't but la i just like last time it wasn't a problem so i'm just so confused i don't know maybe it's the brand i don't know be mindful <laughs> all right you guys since that's a fail of a situation i figured we would do something else so yeah i want to prep our little football brownies i've got this airtight container i'm gonna wash so i should be able to store them in here here's the brownie mixes i'm gonna do them on like a sheet pan because i don't want them super thick um, because they are like football shaped. So I've, I think I've made, yeah, I think I've made these before. And then, sorry, she fucking knows she's made these before. She's not stupid. She remembers. Of course she has. And you just take white icing to do the little stripes. So it looks pretty simple. As I said, I'm pretty sure I've done this before, but I cannot remember for the life of me. All right. So I am just going to do both at once. I'm going to do 350 on the oven. This is gonna be a lot. But you know, they it comes down to less when you actually like have to cut them out of the sheet. All right, we're gonna need four eggs. One, two, three. So she's used two of them. That's gonna make a lot. And four. Gotta wash your hands after the eggs. And then for both packages, we're gonna do one cup of veggie oil. And then it says we need two tablespoons of water per box. So Jeez. do four tablespoons of water. All right, now we give her a good old mix. I saw this tip on, I don't know where I saw it, on Pinterest. Does she not own but a whisk? But if you cook your brownies in a- Does she not own her own whisk? Glass pan, they get it's like there, a lot- I can see it, it's sitting there. There's a whisk right here, use it you bloody idiot. Uh, apparently like thicker. So if you want that, that's apparently the trick. All right, look at that, gorgeous. Now let's get it spread out. Just for an experiment, we'll do one in glass. But I do need to do like thin layers because I don't want them super thick. I feel like it'd be kind of hard to cut out, but I feel like kind of one box per pan. Okay, I have anxiety about doing it. <laughs> on the sheet band. Okay. Put the rest of the batter in here. All right, my ratio is so off. You guys. Her ratio is very off. She's filled the other one. Now she's got no, not enough for this one. Oh, I gotta, I gotta borrow some from here. It's all right. It's all right. Baking with Alex. First we messed up the printer. Now this. All right, it's fine. Why does she sing? What wonder why she thinks it's a, uh, I don't know, she thinks it's quirky or funny? I, don't, I just don't get it. Everything's fine. So the oven is right. The way she tells herself everything is fine. She sounds like a nutcase. Ready? Okay, you guys, let's uh, pop these bad boys into the oven. Okay, you guys, the brownies are out and came out clean with a toothpick. So I think I actually might save this for the next vlog so I can like do football stuff all in one vlog. You know, like the shirt, the brownies, 
all that jazz because the Super Bowl is in a couple days. So I hate that fucking aura ring. It is so ugly. Imagine going day to day having to wear that ring. It's so bulky and ugly. It'll just be a Super Bowl <laughs> vlog. But I do think we can see how the rollers came out. Okay, you guys. Ah, uh, this is where the shit show happens. I took a nap. <laughs> I got a really bad headache. She took a nap. Your life is full of naps. So, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. But somehow they're still in. It's been hours. There's makeup on my shirt. I also don't know how I got that sweatshirt off and put this on. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Oh, hoo, hoo. you really cannot go wrong with leaving them in as long as you can. I. It makes no difference after they have cooled down it makes no difference how long you leave them in for. I posted this reel on Instagram about how I decided to chop my... Oh my God, this is painful. I just want to take him out for her. This is really fucking painful making her watch the, uh, making us watch this. Hair right as I had mastered heatless curls and the heatless blowout. Like I had oh my God, it really looks horrendous. It looks exactly how I thought it was going to look. I must have mastered my heatless styles <laughs> and i'm just like i'm I, I do love my hair short don't get me wrong but i do miss the heatless styles it was just so easy i do look forward to when my hair is just like down to here and i can do my heatless curls again <laughs> it was funny i literally like I, I had bought the the shut the fuck up and take them out already the swoop velcro rollers are mildly uncomfortable to take out i'll suck it up we do what we can oh it feels so good oh we got a stray clip <laughs> okay wow guys this volume all right and i did two on the top i had run out of my medium and large so i had to use a little tiny <laughs> small one here so i don't totally know how that's gonna be ow ow <laughs> Oh, she's she's extra curly. All right, last one here. Wow. <laughs> Personally, I love it. I I live for the of volume. Of course, you're gonna say I you really love do. it. do. Like, look at all that. It's... Oh my god, it is fucking hideous. Hideous. What's first of all, what's going on at the back here? There's no curl, nothing. It's just a little bit of body. It is just horrible. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have any clients with hair like this. Thank God for that. Who the fuck puts rollers in hair that's at this length? Seriously. You're much better off just using that your waiver thing. Oh, my God. That looks horrible. She looks like she's 90 years old. So fun. No. It's just so, like... No, it's not. It's ugly. Glamorous. No. It's definitely not glamorous and it makes your head look two times bigger than what your face is. And I love it. I love, love, love. We'll see how it... The other side has done nothing. That side looks bad. Holds up over the next few days. I could. It's not going to hold up for the whole day, let alone the next few days. Try to do the blowout, like, protected sock thing. I just... Oh, my God. That looks so bad. How can she take that out and think that, thinks that looks okay? It's so 90s. I don't know if it would work with my hair being this short. Oh, I love it. I love the flip. Oh, I'm please. so glad volume and like doing big bouncy looks is back. Because I feel like growing up it was not popular for me in, I don't know, in like trends or... In... Yeah, because all you do is follow trends. That's why. Because it, it, big hair has always been in, and it will always be in. It just depends on the person. It, just because everyone's going around straightening their hair, um, it doesn't mean you have to go around doing the same thing. Use your brain, if you have one in there, your minuscule one, and um, just make a decision for yourself, apart from following what the latest trend is. Because the latest trend could be wearing a size 7 shoe, and on my foot's size 10. Am I going to try and get it in a size 7 shoe? Want to know it's not going to fit in there? No, but you probably would. School or anything, but like I love that the blowout look. Oh my god, it is so bad. It is so bad on her. 
is popular because I never even like thought to try it on myself when I was younger because it was just like beach waves or straight or scrunch. <laughs> that was really it. She is, she's a bouncy Oh my girl. God, it's worse. The more she plays with it, the worse it looks. So cute. What do we think? Should I add layers? Are you fucking kidding me? Should she add layers? The layers are going to come up to here. They're going to look ridiculous. Oh my God. It's got, please add layers. I want you to add the layers so they can look horrendous. That might make doing a clip more difficult, which we don't want. But anyway, you guys, I don't even know this vlog. She is so fucking all over the place. She has no idea what she wants. Too much time on her hands. It's been going on for days. So the next one will be... I just can't get over it looks like she needs her rear growth done. Like I can understand them doing the um the brush uh, sorry, the teasing in her section there where she has it parted, but not in here. There needs there should have been more foils in here. Super Bowl vibes, but this one's going up on Super Bowl day, so if you're watching, enjoy. Go Taylor. Oh my god, her hair looks bad. Swift's boyfriend. Sorry to anyone that's sick of Taylor Swift. Does anyone else just like cut the hair off their hair ties? <laughs> All right, you guys. I love you so much. I'll see you again in a few oh, days. It's just horrendous. Of course. Bye. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the other vlog. Let me get it up. Uh, all right. So this is the latest. I have not watched this. This will be very interesting. Okay, so she's waking up the next day and she's put her hair up. That's how long it lasted her. I knew it wouldn't last her. I knew it. Saturday morning, we just went and picked up groceries because tomorrow is the Super Bowl. I only got stuff for the Super Bowl, so I thought I would show you guys what we got. And I'm going to obviously like make everything with you guys. So this will be a weekend vlog, Saturday and Sunday. Let's do a little food haul. I have a couple things planned. Other people are bringing some stuff too. Um, I got sweet Hawaiian rolls because I'm gonna do cheeseburger sliders where you like cut all of it open and then like you put the stuff inside. The recipe I saw, they like did kind of like ground meat. Can we just take a time to say rest in peace to that shoulder? Rest in peace to that arm. It's like right up here. It's eating into her. With the cheese and then put it in and then baked it. So Can you see? Oh God, those fucking lips. Those baboon ass lips. It's eating her shoulder up, guys. Her underarm. So that's what I'm gonna try. I got all the ideas off of Pinterest. Um, I'm gonna make buffalo chicken dip. My heart and soul. Um, so I did get some pita chips for that. Her heart and soul. I also got um, celery somewhere. And then I- Do you notice how she says that so boring? Celery somewhere. It's not interesting to her. It's a vegetable. She doesn't care. Actually, I guess I did get a couple things for home. We ran out of honey. And then here is the meat for the boigas. And then I got a rotisserie chicken. I always like making buffalo chicken. Burgers, not boigas. Fucking idiot. Chicken dip with a rotisserie chicken. It's so simple to just pick everything off. Oh, I'm gonna make like a seven layer dip. I don't know if it's gonna be seven layers, but I'm gonna make a dip that looks like a football field. I am like so sure I've done this before. Like for sorry guys she's really trolling here she's a fucking dumb bitch she knows she's done this before how can she keep saying she's forgotten she just doesn't want to say that she's done it before we know you've done it before we all remember it last year's super bowl you did. i did right yeah. okay <laughs> i didn't make the cheeseburger sliders or the buffalo dip but i did do the football brownies and the layer dip football field oh. so um, and then for all that of sudden, all of a sudden she's got her memory back we have sour cream. I'm gonna have to put into like a little bag to pipe the little lines on the field. <laughs> then I got um, ranch. This one's gonna be used for the dip. Oh, and here are some little celery sticks for the dip. Did you see how small the bag was? <laughs> and only one of them. Yep. And then a plethora of cheeses. There you go, a plethora of cheeses. For everything, cream cheese for the dip. And then I got this. Remember those little egg bite things I used to make with the biscuit? There's from TikTok with the egg and I put jalapenos. I have been just like really in the mood for those. Yes, they look disgusting. So I did get this so I could, <laughs> I could make some. Oh, and I did get us 
yogurt restock. This is for the seven layer dip. Oh, and then we needed bananas. And I just, I don't know, I feel like people love chips. So I figured people could eat these. She feels like people love chips. Of course people love chips and you love them too. With the sliders and I feel like people love barbecue. These were on sale and also for the seven layer dip. These were on sale. Why must she need to tell us that they're on sale? She is such a fucking tight ass when it comes to entertaining with people. She'll buy only what's on special. We've got salsa, refresh. It's not the fact she thought everyone loves barbecue. It's the fact that they were on special. She's so dumb. Fried beans and then some salsa con queso. Oh, and I'm also gonna make, um, this is just for home, our little chocolate sticker dates. Yes. Because I know you've been missing those. Milk yeah, yeah, blame it on Yaman. Blame it on Yaman. Yeah, milk yes. chocolate, yeah. Um, so maybe I'll make those in the vlog too. We ran out, we love, I've showed them a million times, the little chocolate covered snicker dates. Um, who would, I'm sorry guys, but who in their right mind, and she, her knockers are huge and she keeps saying she's got small breasts. Who would wear a t-shirt that that's that small for them? Where the t-shirt where the comes up here. And, and think that it looks okay. Um, she really has body dysmorphia, but in the opposite way. Like looks in the mirror and thinks that it actually looks okay with what she's wearing. Um, oh, and you want to know what I got Although, too? you sent me a uh, Girl Scout cookie hat. Oh yeah, I do want to make those. Okay. I'd found that after I placed the grocery order. Okay. But there was, um, on reels, so there was... I just can't believe how blue and purple her lips are. It's like a four ingredient, is it samosas? Girl Scout samosas? Samoa? Samoa. Samoa is a, an island, you stupid ignorant cow. Uh, let me, yeah, What's it called? <laughs> hold on, I'll pull up your rail. Okay. Samoa. Samoa. Not samosas. Samoa cookies. So it was a four ingredient yeah. Samoa Girl Scout cookies and okay, it's like with so dates right. and coconut shreds and so maybe we'll make that in another vlog because it sounds so good. It's like no refined sugar, four ingredients and apparently they're really good. And I decided to try their zero calorie cola. We've cut back heavily on the aspartame. So I like finding stevia drinks that are good. So these had pretty good reviews. You guys know I found those. She'll go back to the aspartame after this. Stevia ones from Target that I really like, but I don't know. I want to see if this is good. So when it's nice and cold and crispy, we'll try one together later. So that's the grocery haul. I did end up um, making my brownies last night in the last vlog. I had made the brownies and I just got the urge to like... I can't believe she made them four days in advance or something. And apparently some, one of my subscribers was saying that she freezes them create them last night so they're in the freezer so they'll be nice and fresh tomorrow i'll just let them no they won't be nice and fresh they'll be dry and hard as a rock fall right before and then yeah tomorrow we'll whip everything else up i don't really think i mean i guess i could prep some stuff today but i mean the game isn't until 6 30 tomorrow so i have like a lot of time <laughs> tomorrow that's the tea today is gonna be pretty chill i don't know if you'll see me again today but you'll definitely see me. T oh wait, no, you will see me today because I have to make my Super Bowl shirt. That was a fiasco yesterday, you guys. A total and utter fiasco. Did you order the right type of paper I time? did. I ordered the laser printer kind. It's out for delivery. Let's you see. Printer I did almost break the printer. In fact, I was quite worried about it. <laughs> it's arriving not but until three to six p.m. So. Um, <laughs> I can't get over the way she Such tracks. a mess. She, but she I'm tracks probably going to end up. She tracks her Amazon like she tracks her husband. Like doing that today. So stand by. Does anyone else like this where like when they're having a party the next day, they leave everything out on the counter that you need? Um, um, actually, no, I'll leave it in the bag so it doesn't take up the counter. Okay, so I am going to whip up our little snicker date things. Melt the chocolate. Like I said, I've showed this a lot, so I apologize, but you cut open a date, um, you put in a little bit of- So she shows it anyway. sweatshirt from Amazon. Uh, if you watched the last vlog- How ugly is that top? How ugly is that top? I don't know if it's just me because I hate the color. Everything's so fucking beige. And you know- you Oh my God, she's looking rough, man. I would just, if I had a channel, would you guys come on the channel looking like that, that rough? 
who know what happened so cute so we've I mean, got i know i've been on the channel looking rough but i've been in hospital it's a little bit different you know i've been unwell but for fuck's sake Got fourteen dollar Hanes sweatshirt from Amazon, a crew neck. If you missed the last vlog, um, it's a man's size. It's a man's size sweater. Um, I wanted a <laughs> Taylor Swift Super Bowl funny T-shirt or sweatshirt. Um, I feel like it's a very controversial topic, the Taylor Swift Super Bowl drama. So sorry if it's bothering people, but I'm in it for the. For you're in it because you love following anything that other people are following that's why you're in it the giggles a minute for no, no you're in it because you you following you like a sheep that's why you're in it taylor usher and snacks that's just me um, she's in it for taylor usher and snacks you're in it for snacks first alexandra we all know that um, but the Taylor sweatshirts on Etsy uh, were going for like 50 bucks. So when I wanted we was 50 know. bucks. We know. I was a hundred times. I'm mad at myself for buying the wrong printer paper. But this still came out so. You've told us a hundred times. Just iron the fucking thing. I ended up doing it. Mm, so good. I know it's so good. You need the instructions? Did, were there instructions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see them. Look at you reading instructions. Yeah. Wow. I don't have the energy to F this up again. <laughs> okay, let's turn on the old iron. Cut your design with scissors. Oh, so we should cut it out? Oh. So she does own an iron, guys. You know how I was talking about the other day how she has that thing that looks like um, straighteners? And she just goes over them. But she, she does have a bloody iron. She owns one. She's just lazy and uses that other straightener thing as an iron. Thank God you brought these directions down. <laughs> I was about to just just get after it. Okay. All right. I'm going to follow the directions, guys. I'm going to do it right. All right. Step one is to print. Step two is to cut out our design. Would you consider this gray, light, or dark? I will consider it gray. Well, I had to buy either light or dark fabric for this. I bought light. Why is she cutting it out so unevenly? Because all that white is going to show. Is she aware of that? Or is she that stupid she doesn't know? I feel like the bl like black or navy is for dark. All right, peel off the backing paper before ironing. Oh, there it is, there it is. Get ready, get ready. She's she's very thin and floppy. Okay, and then you're leaving? Wait, you gotta stay. About one to two minutes with a firm, even and heavy pressure. And you just peel it off. Wait, is all that white gonna be on the shirt? Yes, you, you bimbo. Of course, all that white's going to be on the shirt. I was wondering why she cut it out so, so hesitantly, like not hesitantly, so quickly like that. Like this is really uneven. I think it will just evaporate. Is she fucking? It's not water. Do you think it's just gonna evaporate? Yeah, it's gonna miraculously go into thin air. It's gonna disappear. Oh my god, how dumb is she? Look how she's cut it. Oh, how hilarious. And I bet you she'll still go ahead with it. Do you think maybe it will evaporate? I'm not gonna lie, the white looks kinda cool. Yeah, but I would need to make it more even. And exactly. Not just so cut it. Sloppy. Yeah, you might need to cut it more. The white is 100% not gonna yeah. evaporate. She didn't cut it, She's, she left it. What are you doing? Oh! It doesn't look, oh my God, she's peeling it off. It doesn't look bad like that. I don't know why she's freaking out over it. It just needs to be... She should have just cut it more evenly. Oh! No. No. Really? No. Why does... Yes, Yaman, your wife is dumb. Say it's for light shirts no. and not white. It should say it's just, just for iron white. It, just iron it. Just... It's common sense, you fucking moron. If you read the paper, it would say... If it, if it was for anything and it was translucent, it would say translucent. If it has white, it's going to stay white. Where did you think the white was going to go? Just, just iron it. I'm going to cry. Point, I'm going to cry, Armin. Oh, my. This is the real her, guys. This is the real her. It's funny. I love the color of that iron, though, I have to say. How do you like it? We could go to, like, Old Navy tomorrow morning. He is so calm and relaxed while she's having a mental breakdown. But, like, Something. this is just such Beautiful. a fun fail. I'm going to go have a menti bee. A few, <laughs> few moments later. 2024 is the year of perseverance. Oh, those fingers. Those fucking fingers. 
pants. So, Yarman offered to wear this tomorrow. He thinks it looks cool. It doesn't look bad. She's really exaggerating. I mean, it's not cut out properly, but it doesn't look bad. And who gives a fuck? It's only for the, the Super Bowl and you're wearing it at home. Great on him. I actually have... And I almost put this in the donate bin last month. Something... To God forbid that you donate something. Told me to keep it, I swear. It's an old Lululemon sweatshirt. As you can see or may not see, there is a stain here. So this is perfect. We'll cover the stain, because I don't wear it, and we'll make it work. So it's perfect. It's actually... Can you guys see like the yellow stain right here? Yes. Everything's gonna be great very soon. Uh, okay, it's gonna cover the stain still... perfectly. Yes. I will say the quality, I mean. And she still takes no time to cut it out properly. I'm very salty that this said it's for light colors. I didn't think that gray meant dark. Like you. Oh my God, she didn't think that gray meant dark. How dumb is she? Um, That is not a light color. That is a light color. That is a light color. Not that. <laughs> I think it would say for whites only, like for white cloth only. I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. It's very possible. So. Yeah, it is very possible and it's spot on. <laughs> Take a million. Okay, we are peeling. We're peeling. Oh God, I wonder if she fucks this up. It'll be so funny if she does. This is hilarious. Replacing over the stain. Gorgeous. Now we iron and we pretend this whole fiasco never happened. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is she laughing at? It looks fine. You can still very much see the cutout. Oh, who gives a fuck? It's so much better. Who gives a shit? You're just wearing it for the Super Bowl. Like, I could try to cut directly under, but like... Yeah, that's what you should have done in the first place, you moron. If you didn't want the white to show at all, you can cut it out as much white as you can. You could have done that so well, and you would have hardly seen any white. Even if she was, if she was very intelligent, but she's not. She could have even cut through there, right? You could cut right around there, put the top half on that, put the, the thing there there would have been nothing around the ball and she could have cut all around here and ironed that on but she's still got that white there and that's stressing her out oh my god at that point like I can't <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit oh I guess it doesn't look as bad as the gray it's definitely uh, on there maybe I'll iron it more <laughs> maybe the iron will magically make it look less uh oh my god less wonky i i tap out for today i'll see you tomorrow for soon she's left the iron on it she's left the iron on it purple sunday <laughs> tomorrow good morning you guys happy super how i'm sorry guys but how ugly is that that jacket it is just giving me 80s vibes and the 80s were not good. She wouldn't know about that. <laughs> but, um, oh God, that's a horrible jacket. <laughs> Pancaked with makeup. Fuck me dead. Um, happy Usher's performance and Taylor Swift day. Oh, um fuck off. I'm kidding, I'm joking. Um, Yar and I, the game's not till 6.30 tonight, and we're having some friends over, and we're gonna make a bunch of food later. The brownies are made, as we know, but since it's not until 6.30 tonight, we were like, let's, like, go do something this morning, so we're just gonna drive down to one of our favorite breakfast spots in Newport. We've showed it before, it's Crew Cafe. It's so, it's just so good. I don't know what it is. What do you, do you know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get what, what do you always get? Or do you always get random? I always get a sandwich. Yeah, I usually like that, yeah. I usually get that uh, breakfast burrito, right? But the thing is, I can never finish it, and it's like I don't know. There's something. It's hard to reheat a breakfast burrito, but it's that so good. You do tend to have. A so share it with your husband. A little bit of it, at least. So it doesn't really go to waste, but 
Um, do you think they'll still have the cider donuts? Those were crazy. Oh my god. Just wait till you get to the place and look at the fucking menu. Stop trying to guess. Those were absolutely the most insane. We shared an apple cider donut when we were there. It's probably the best I've ever had. It's, no, it's 1,000% the best I've ever had. And I'm a farm girl. The farm I worked at growing up had amazing apple cider donuts. And I'm not trying to shade them, but this, these are even more outstanding. Like, they serve them warm. They're so... Can we just take a moment to notice the Peter Griffin happening here? So cidery. We had them... It was back in the fall, though, when we... Having, having a face like this after bypass surgery I, I can't I just can't imagine that I, I can't went for car week so I don't think it baffles me it just baffles me completely how she had that fucking surgery and she just thinks nothing of it and she just will eat what she wants when she wants I don't know I don't think they're gonna have them but it would be thrilling if they did <laughs> so I already did my makeup I'm, so, I, I'm sorry I'm going back to this, guys. I have never seen anyone who has had a gastric surgery, like, in my life. I know it does happen, but I have never seen anyone fail at it. So this is what it looks like, and it's really, it's actually quite disturbing. For the day, I did, like, long wear makeup, full makeup, so it can last. Yeah, we know. It looks pancaked on. Higher day, because it's already 10 o'clock, um, and the game's not for eight hours. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to head down. Because it's late. Sorry. I know. For some reason, I had it in my head that it was going to be at like noon. Like the Super Bowl to that's, me feels like, sensible. or two. The Super Bowl always feels like 2 p.m. in my brain. You know what it is though? It starts 6.30 East Coast, but West Coast, what's that, 3? True, yeah. No. Yeah, on the West Coast, it's 3.30, yeah. So. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah, it's... I don't know what the hell happened unless her hair's grown. It just looks like there is nothing there. Unless maybe because it needs a wash and it's gone darker. But it, she looks like she has an inch of regrowth already. It's going to be fun though. Maybe we could take a nap. Maybe we could take a nap. Is she fucking serious? Did I just hear that? She wants to um, fill up the time between waiting to the Super Bowl. So she wants to have a nap. She's anticipating a nap and she, it's 10 o'clock in the morning already. You know what it is though? It starts 6.30 East Coast but West Coast. What's that? 3? True, yeah. Yeah. yeah, on the west coast it's 3.30, yeah. So, yeah, that's fair. So, yeah, it's going to be fun though. Maybe we could take a nap. <laughs> I'm not The way he laughs at her. He's right. She's a fucking nut job. <laughs> we're very old. Oh, and this morning we were listening. No, no, you're, we're not very old. You're very old and you're overweight. And that's why you're feeling like you want to take a nap. And it's fucking 10 o'clock in the morning. You've only been up an hour. And you're already talking about taking a nap? To, um, we've been really loving Apple Music Hits Radio. Oh, please, guys, no one follow her. Please, no one do what she does after gastric bypass. They have a hits radio station on Apple Music, and they do hits from, like, all these different time periods. And backing up on, like, TikTok and... Re Don't Dip, care. I really do. Not I switch interested. out the cars, and we love to go and... For summer, I can't wait to swim. I want to go to the beach so badly. I miss warmth. I swear to God, if I fucking hear her complain, if I hear con her complain about how hot it is in summer, I miss water this oh, winter. <laughs> Till summer. Spring. Spring, spring is only like a two month, a month and a half away. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By like sometimes mid March to early April, it can start to feel warm put your arm down some chilly days i wonder if she loves this Look place how cute the little valentine. no wonder she loves this place oh this is where she bought those valentine's biscuits from i think oh she's been there before they're those valentine's biscuits that she bought valentine's day cookies okay we're waiting for our food you guys so the cafe's over there they expanded it bigger so it's what a boring looking cafe. It doesn't even look like there's like there's so much room in there. Fill it up with chairs. It's really exciting because the other one only has like maybe 12 tables. Now it's got so much more space. Yar got a little Arnold Tommy. A little water. 
Um, what did you order? What's in that bag on the table? Cookies? The, oh, the burrito. I got the burrito. You got the burrito I normally get. And I ordered chicken and biscuits. Yum. You guys so what's, in, what's in this bag here that you're not showing us? It's the donut or the biscuits? Look how insane this looks. Yara's gonna have to eat some of this. Look at how good. Oh my God, that is huge. I wouldn't even be able to eat half of one of those. It does look nice though, but it's too much melted cheese. Chicken, biscuit, salad, and then his gorgeous. I just pick up and touch his food. So fucking disgusting. He doesn't want your hands all over it. Breakfast burrito. Oh, this is such a good burrito. Can I have one bite of this? Oh my god. As if she doesn't have enough. She wants a bite of his. Can, let's share. Yeah, we're gonna share. That's marriage. Sharing is caring. Breakfast. Get the fucking hand out of the way. It was delish. Now we're heading. Delish. Around the corner. It's like right here. Let's check out the cars. Oh, you got your. No. I'm not doing any checking of the cars. That will bore me to death. Got the office on here. So it is currently 1.15. People are coming around 6. I think I'm going to prep the buffalo dip first she because cannot, I can whip it out. She cannot do anything like this without having music on or an ear pod on or the TV on. I don't understand. When I'm in full concentration mode about cooking i'm just cooking i'm not worried about what's playing in the background or anything up and then put it in the fridge could that chicken get any smaller microwave it later i don't want to do the football field too early because the guac might turn brown and then the cheeseburger sliders need to be done also kind of right before so at least i can get this done now get your um, hand out of the way my footballs out of the freezer so they can start to thaw oh my god they're like rock listen to them she took them way out too too late balls out of the freezer so they listen. can start to thaw oh my um, god i feel sorry for anyone who's going to bite into one of those going to miss, miss a tooth um, but they tooth. look super cute so let's whip this up are you guys funny enough? I don't think this is enough chi no, <laughs> chicken. No, she's chill. I started this early. This is not enough chicken for the. I was thinking, the chicken looked so small. People coming here. Um, so thankfully I have chicken breast in the fridge. So I'm gonna throw it in the slow cooker on high for three to four hours, and I'll still have time to make this before people come. But <laughs> I was I was pulling the chicken, and I'm like. This is small chicken. This is not enough chicken. So I'm really glad. Really glad I started that early enough to have some in the crock pot. But the rest of the stuff we'll be doing in a few hours. So stand by. Many hours later. All right. I just took a nap. <laughs> I haven't even looked at myself. I just I don't fucking believe it. She actually took another nap every single day. I gotta get up. I gotta get things moving i didn't sleep well last night so i was like you're gonna have to because you, you have sleep apnea and you need a mask that's why you didn't sleep well you never sleep well take a nap later okay so we just put the tablecloth on the island and we did two so it's like covering it perfectly and it looks like a football field all right so we've got our plastic football chip bowl then we've got these footballs i'm gonna just tape around <laughs> um a little table decoration i should have got two because you know each end of the football field <laughs> oh my god she's dumb she only got one. Oh, whatever um and then plates napkins and then some of these bowls that have game day written on them super cute and then I think I'm going to wash this since it wasn't in any plastic wrap. My brownies are thawed. The rest of this chicken is almost finished in the crock pot. So we can start actually assembling the food. Okay, so I had seen a few different recipes for the burger sliders. So you can either like ground it up and kind of make it sloppy joe style. But then some people also just bake a big square and then slice these open, put it in with cheese. I'm gonna season this really well. You're just gonna put it in the oven for 375 for 
maybe like, I think it said 12 to 15 minutes. I used two pounds of ground beef. You can either do one pound for thin ones or two pounds for thicker ones. It's annoying me. She has not even done this bit properly. Just even it out a little bit better. So it cooks evenly. So yeah, let's get this in the oven. So the chicken is perfectly cooked. I just shredded it. So I'm gonna add it in with the rotisserie chicken. All right, now, now we've got a nice, nice good amount for our buffalo chicken dip. Cause honestly, I just feel like buffalo chicken dip is so good and popular during like you love it sports games yeah that see that's how much chicken i needed <laughs> salt and pepper first and foremost of course we've got a block of cream cheese oh god she's got to put cheese in everything i was gonna use half of this but now that i have like a lot of chicken in here i'm gonna use the whole thing it just makes it super duper creamy yeah. one thing that the store didn't have um when i got the groceries was blue cheese crumbles which I normally love to add, but it'll still be good without it. And then we're gonna go in with... Does she only own that one fucking bowl? She's constantly using that one bowl that probably came with her, um, the set that she bought, that she never puts together properly. Excuse me. Oh, sorry guys, excuse me. Buffalo sauce, kind of depends how spicy you like it and then i'm gonna go in with some ranch that's gonna help it to really mix as well and some shredded cheese blend now everything's in there oh my god now we blend it on up why bother putting the chicken in just put the cheese in i'm gonna have both of the levels of the oven on because the stuff people are bringing is gonna need to get heated up as well we've got people bringing pigs in a blanket calzones how can they call this a chicken dip like a dip to me is something like yogurt or um, uh, what she uses, the guacamole. I don't, I, I don't understand how they call this a dip. Okay, this looks so good. Of course, you have to taste it before you decide to like finish it. So I'll give it a little taste because I feel like it might need more buffalo. Yeah, it's a lot of chicken. I'm also gonna do a pinch more salt. All right, trying it with a new fork, obviously. Mm-hmm, there it is. Let's get it into our dish. Perfect, it fits. Oh, sorry guys, that just does not look appetizing. Like a glove, honestly. All right, sprinkle of more cheese. Oh my God, more cheese. Fuck me dead. On top to bake it. Gorgeous, delish. Okay, I think now i'm gonna work on the seven layer dip because that actually could go in the fridge are we seeing the salad at any stage for a little bit but i'm actually already getting low on time it's like she's got all that stuff which is fine but a salad you need a salad to refresh your, your taste buds to have it something a bit refreshing 5 11 so we gotta keep moving as i said i've made this before so let me show you the inspo i'm not gonna do the tomatoes but like that's the vibe so More fucking cheese. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I am very hot, so I put on my homemade shirt from last year. What the fuck out of all? She doesn't even wear the other shirt that she made. I have my Taylor's boyfriend shirts or sweatshirts ready to go if I get cold, but I've been running around and cooking and setting up. All that for nothing. All of that for nothing. I bet she doesn't even wear it. So I'm hot, but let me show you 
the setup. Okay, so here is our tablecloth. It's from Amazon. There's two of them. Came in a set of three. I'll save this for next year. Um, so the hot stuff I still have going in the oven to stay warm, but it's almost time, so I'll probably take it out. I got little footballs up here. Little. She still has that bunny rabbit near her air fryer. She still has him there. Not one salad in sight, guys. I mean, there's a a few um, celery sticks, but not a salad in sight. Well, uh, goal post. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Is that a goal post? You're right. Um, so this is for the buffalo dip. This is for the taco dip, or not the taco dip, the seven layer dip, brownies, and then just some chip varieties. And then I put some more footballs over here. Babe, here's my football field. Nice. You like it's it? It's a comeback. Okay, look, that looks like a dip, and as long as no one double dips, it's okay. That's what I don't like about dips, is when someone bites, puts it in their mouth, and then they put the chip back in it again. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of a tradition now. So she really should have little bowls that you can put this out of and put them in a little bowl so you can have them. I'm really mad at myself because I forgot to put a layer of cheese, but alas. Uh, you have enough cheese. Don't worry. You have enough cheese and everything else. We'll survive. Can't you do it after? Well, it would mess up my field. But it has um, refried beans, guac, sour cream, salsa. Cute enough, I tried, because I had to like pipe it in my own little well, bag, so. Queso's cheese. Well, it's, but it's not shredded cheese. And then I did garlic butter on top of here and finished baking the burgers. And I'm keeping them warm. And then the my buffalo actually, dip. The is burgers actually look nice. Done. All right, buffalo dip, my favorite. Gorgeous. How is it a dip? I just don't get how that is a dip. Actually, I think I'll put it back in now with this off. I just wanted the inside to get fully warm. People will be here soon. I probably won't take any more clips, but I'll see you guys after. Are you fucking kidding me? This is it. She takes no clips, no nothing of people or friends. She takes nothing of it? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Super Bowl. One eternity later. Well, you guys, it is 11.15 and the Super Bowl went into overtime. I never put on my sweatshirt. <laughs> after all that, after all that bullshit, she never wore her sweatshirt. And she didn't show us any of the people or any of the Super Bowl party. After everything, I was so hot. I didn't put on my sweatshirt. You're a fucking idiot, is what you are. <laughs> oh my god, like just unreal. Thank you for that. Well, oh my god, what a moron. Where are you gonna wear it tomorrow? I'm never gonna wear this there unless go. they go to the Super Bowl again next year and him and. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I, I'm astounded at her stupidity. All that for nothing. Taylor still dating. <laughs> We had a really fun night with our friends. Uh, we just cleaned up and... I can't believe she showed nothing. She showed no footage, nothing. I was able to save this stuff for next year. I took the footballs off the wall. I still have some napkins. Washed this little plastic bowl and tablecloth. And then we've got this. So. Gotta make sure I can put this in a spot I can find it next year. But Usher's halftime show performance, chef's kiss. A lot of people were upset there was no Beeb. Bieber was in the audience enjoying his time. But um, Alicia Keys, Ludacris. Oh, I don't care. So many amazing people and it was just so many good bops. So we really enjoyed that. We didn't feel like there were a lot of like exciting commercials this year. Like, I don't know. I feel like- Who the fuck gets excited by commercials? Super Bowl commercials used to be better. But uh, you know, regardless, we had a fun time. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. We are so tired. But I'm so glad I took a nap earlier. Stop, stop mentioning ya in the way. Stop doing the way thing. You're tired. You had a nap and you're still tired. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed. No, you don't. You're so fake. That's just something she says at every every video. I love you so much. It means nothing when you say it like that. People know when you're sh shit talking and you're full of shit. Super Bowl if you watched it. And I'll see you again in a few days. Bye. I just don't believe she didn't show anything. 
she showed nothing of her friends okay to say that maybe that I want to be on camera she could have showed their feet or from their behind uh, not their behind you know what I mean from behind them but she showed nothing of anyone coming over at all my god how boring oh she's so boring all right guys well this is it I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. Um, I'm looking forward to your comments down below. I still can't get over her hairstyle. It's fucking ridiculous. It looks absolutely ridiculous. She looked so, so bad. Um, all right, my friends, leave me some comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of people that are commenting and that um, I see the views, but not everyone has subscribed. So I would appreciate it if you could, um, if you'd like to. Thank you so much and I most likely will have another reaction up to a couple of um, random ones later on today. Alright my lovelies, this is it for now. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.